again and welcome. Today is Tuesday, I came back from the Harrogate show on Sunday night about 9, 9.30 and uh, what a fantastic weekend, that's the only word that I can use to describe it. It was phenomenal. I had all these wonderful plans to um, video the events day by day but in all honesty they all went out the window because it was so busy, which is brilliant, that's what it's all about. Simon's stand was extremely popular. I was, I was turning uh, and I turned all day Friday, all day Saturday and all day Sunday with very short breaks in between. Not because Simon is a slave driver, I just, the time just went. I, didn't, I just enjoyed myself 100%. I met absolutely loads of subscribers for the first time and thank you all very much for taking the trouble to come along and, and say hello, it was brilliant and also a lot of subscribers who I've met previously and thanks to you as well. It was an absolutely incredible experience, something I will never, never forget. Um, the main thing for me was walking amongst my peers, other, you know, turners, I mean I'm a turner, but not in the class of the people there. I mean, such talent, it is amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, and it was brilliant, I just wish I could have spent more time looking at each uh, stand and and watching for longer than I was able. But at the end of the day, I was there to be behind the lathe, um, which is terrible. I really didn't want to be there. I turned more in three days than I think I normally turn in three or four months. It was intense and it was so enjoyable. Um, and I loved all the questions. A couple of people, a couple of subscribers said to me, we were gonna say hello, but you looked as if you were busy. Never ever am I ever too busy to stop and just say hello and hopefully chat a bit longer. Uh, please don't ever think that you're interrupting me, whatever I'm doing. I mean, that, that, that's what it's all about. Um, so for the future, if ever you see me behind a lathe, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, make yourself known because I, I really would like to meet you. Um, it was a great time with um, Solomon and the gang, with Simon, Paul and Di. <coughs> and, uh, or Derek, that's, right, that's, that's the other guy. Um, <laughs> we had a, a, a really great time. They made me feel very welcome in the group from the get-go. Uh, we worked hard during the day and at night we had a real gas. We just had a terrific time every single night. It was brilliant. Um, I, I had the pleasure of meeting people who I hadn't met before in, in the wood turning world, professional turners. Margaret Garrett, I actually sat opposite Margaret Garrett, I've never met the lady before, what a talent. Uh, and a really nice person as well, as was everybody. Andrew Hall sat at the head of the table, <laughs> and there was Mick Hambry, um, just to name a very few, but I'm not name dropping, it's just a wonderful experience to be sort of in the company of these, of these people. And during the event I met people like Les Thorne, um, I met uh, David Lowe again and Gary Lowe. Uh, I've got a list here. I know I, it, it, it reads a bit like a list, you know, who's whose list in the wood turning world, if you like. My old mate James Barry, obviously, and, and Glyn Senior and Martin Saban Smith goes without saying. And uh, with David Lowe, unfortunately, I didn't meet Vince because apparently I wasn't at the lathe. The very rare occasion I wasn't at the lathe, Vince came along and I wasn't there. But. Um, I'm sure I'll see you again next year, Vince, when I'm up in Whitby on holiday. Have no fear. I also met Mark Baker, who I've never met before. Uh, very nice guy, very, very capable turner, and also the editor of the Wood Turning magazine here in the UK, which I have every month. So it was great to meet you as well, Mark. Um, Phil Greenwood, Philip Greenwood, um, who's a Yorkshire man anyway. I've met Phil um, before. And uh, <coughs> it was great to see you again and your wife. And when I'm on the way up, Next year, we'll definitely pop in for a cup of tea. And thanks for the offer, mate. It's great to see you again. Um, Gary, Chris, and also my old mate, Chris Fisher. Chris Fisher came by with Nicola, said hello, and I only saw him for two minutes, three minutes, which is a great shame. But uh, Chris, it was great to see you again, mate, and uh, your inspiration to us all. Uh, Kevin Newman as well, Drew McEwen, Andrew McCall, subscribers and friends of mine who I've met in person before and we had a great laugh as well and it was great to see you guys really really was i'm sorry to be reading from this and this is just a very small list <laughs> and um emma cook the tiny turner i unfortunately didn't meet emma but um i would love to see some of her work she's got a website etc 
so I will have a look closer at that. Um, I met Bill Mooney last year. Uh, one thing I like about meeting Bill is that he always makes me feel so young. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great privilege and a pleasure to meet you again, Bill. Bill's actually turned for royalty, which is no mean feat. Lovely fella, and by God does he know his stuff. I was very fortunate to be given a few little bits from people, and I really appreciate them. Th this one is from uh, somebody who I've spoken to on the phone, and we've had some contact um, from Graham Light. And we weren't sure, I knew it was a hardwood, which is, is no mean feat, knowing that. Um, and, and Graham and I have talked a few times and uh, we've had a bit of a bit of a crack it's actually gone shallow Elvis Graham if you're watching this video you know what it is and this was the challenge you gave me I've turned it before but into goblets and boxes never into a I should think it's going to be a bowl of some sort so uh, thanks for that I really appreciate it so I'll look forward to turning that and there will be a video on it I promise you um, <coughs> excuse me, and Gra Graham is part of the My Eyes Aren't Other Ways, the North Lincolnshire Woodturners Association, and that's the club, and uh, they meet every second Monday of the month um, at the Lodgemore Community Centre in Scunthorpe, so a little shout out there, and I'll put links to everything that I can find links to. Uh, a subscriber of mine called um, Jim Rob pop by the stand and was behind the lathe and gave me these two handmade, custom made um, depth gauges. Absolutely brilliant. I, I'm really chuffed to beans with those and thank you very much Jim. I appreciate that. I also got given a jumbo size pack of chocolate covered digestive biscuits and I cannot remember for the life of me name of the guy that gave it to me. I obviously looked a little bit anorexic and I needed feeding up and I had this pack of biscuits. If you watch this video please make yourself known and I'll give you a, a nice shout out in the next one because I was really appreciative of that. I also got a sticker from BC Woodworks that'll go on the sticker board behind and also a sticker from Jim Rob who gave me the depth gauges so that'll go as well. Pride of place. Uh, one from Steve's Wood Cave Thanks for that, Steve. Appreciate that, mate. And one from Phil Cannon, who has recently started up a YouTube channel. And it was nice to meet you in person, Phil. It was great. And uh, thank you very much indeed for the sticker. A lot of go on the board behind. Um, and also one from my old mate. I say my old mate. I've met Wayne, uh, Wayne a couple of times. Wayne Clasper, who also, which I totally didn't realise, had started up a YouTube channel. So I'll put a link to, to Wayne's YouTube channel below. Wayne's been turning a number of years. Thanks for the sticker, mate. I'll stick along the wall. Um, and last, but by no means least, least, one of my subscribers, Tommy T, from the uh, Shettleston Men Shed in Glasgow, uh, sent me this card with a, a lovely note inside, which um, I'm not going to read to you because it's very personal, uh, but suffice it to say, um, the Shettleston Men Shed in Glasgow is where guys go to meet, to turn, obviously, and to release their... They're in the demons a little bit when they're having their black dog days and black dog moments. So um, wood turning, as we know, is a terrific uh, therapy for that type of a, an ailment, if you like. I mean, I've suffered with it myself over the years. So when you get your mind on something else, it just gives it a break. Uh, brilliant. So that's the uh, Shuttlesman Men Shed in Glasgow. Thanks for that, Tommy. Appreciate it, mate. And last, I keep saying last but not least, and then I'll shut up and you can watch the collage of stuff that I put together. Um, I was given this wonderful pen with a hybrid blank and it's a bold action pen. I've narrowed it down in my brain to two people. So if you watch this video, please make it known. I have a feeling I know who it is, but I don't want to make a mistake like I did a couple of videos ago. <laughs> so please let me know. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Uh, and also um, a subscriber of mine called I Speckled Hen, that's what he goes by in, um, on YouTube. Um, James made himself known to me. Um, I've bantered with James for a number of years and it's really great to put a face to a name. I'd like to thank as well Phil, uh, Pat Carroll and a couple of other people who I honestly will have to remain nameless who have put public photos up of Harrogate uh, because as I say, my idea of what I was going to do was went completely out the window. So um, I've pinched some of Pat's wonderful photographs and they will form a large part of, um, 
of what you see after I shut up and let you go. A wonderful weekend. I'd like to thank everybody for um, making me feel so welcome. And uh, especially my subscribers and people who popped by to say hello when I was behind the lathe on the Simon stand. Um, more than that, I can't say. I'll be quiet now. Pass you on to the collage of my small contribution to those who were unfortunate enough not to be able to make it. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon with a turning video. Cheers now. Well here we are on the A1 on the way to Harrogate. In the front in the driving seat is Mr Simon Hope and on the left is his friend and assistant, <laughs> Mr Derek. We've got 70 odd miles to go now and if I remember we'll have a little more when we get to the showground. And here we are at finally arrived. This is going to be Simon Hope's stand. We just unloaded two vans worth and I have to say this is the Friday obviously set up day. It is huge. It is cold. You just say hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Di. This is Paul. And <coughs> that's Mr. Hope. <laughs> Unfortunately Derek isn't here, which is good. And I just thought I'd let you know all the people all over the world. This is the guy I'm sharing a bedroom with this evening. So I hope he doesn't snore. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you later. Cheers.